The Marion County man accused of murdering his wife and four children waived his appearance in court this morning. That was his arraignment on four newly added murder charges. The News for Jack's I team is sifting through the criminal arrest affidavit, which lays out why Michael Jones says he committed the crimes. Tark is joining us now with what he was able to find out. Tark. Well, Michael Jones told detectives he had no other choice but to kill his own children after murdering his wife following a domestic dispute where Casey Jones accused him of cheating. And not only do detectives have his confession, they also have a mountain of evidence. When Michael Jones was asked why he killed his kids, the 36-year-old told detectives, I don't know, just everything mounted up and it seemed like the way out. When asked why he didn't let the children live, Jones responded, I wish I had the answer for you, detective. It's just part of the confession laid out in new documents released by Marion County detectives, which also reveal the abundance of evidence detectives have in this case. Bone fragments, blood evidence, zip ties, a comforter containing rope and duct tape. They're just some of the items being processed by forensic detectives, who also found prescription pill bottles and empty bottles of beer, which reveal Jones may have been under the influence of one or both. We've also learned that Jones attempted to hide at least one of his victim's bodies in the underside of the single wide manufactured home. According to documents, Detective Bartlett asked for my assistance in removing an exterior metal panel covering the underside of the mobile home. The panel was on the east end of the home and I removed it with a cordless drill. Detective Bartlett advised it appeared there had been a body stored on the northeast corner of the residence. Deputies say Jones beat his wife Casey to death with a baseball bat two weeks before strangling her boys in mid-August. Jones told detectives after their deaths, he picked up his two girls from a family member and considered turning himself into authorities. In the report, a detective states he went to Bellevue City Hall with his two girls and sat there for hours looking at the police department, considering turning himself in or hoping someone would make contact with him. Jones advised he could not gather the courage to turn himself in. Instead, a few days later, Jones confessed to killing his two daughters by drowning them in a bathtub before eventually revealing to detectives where he placed all five bodies, the children between the ages of one and ten. Now, the state attorney's office has said it will seek the death penalty for Michael Jones. Meanwhile, a memorial was recently erected for the family of the deceased that you see there. This was done by the Warren Island Hunt Club in Folkestone, Georgia with wishes that all five victims will eternally rest in peace.